2019 Venezuelan Presidential Crisis Events Loyalist Lack of Faith The first major signs of impending crisis showed when a Supreme Court justice and electoral justice seen as close to Maduro defected to the United States just a few days before the 10th of January inauguration. The justice, Christian Zerpa said that Maduro was incompetent and illegitimate. It was also reported that United States intelligence had acquired knowledge that one of Maduro's close top officials and Minister of Defense, Vladimir Padrino Lopez, had requested for Maduro to step down, threatening to resign if Maduro did not. International Lack of Recognition Many countries and supranational bodies joined the National Assembly in rejecting the legitimacy of Maduro retaining power, with several cutting diplomatic ties to Venezuela and even more calling for Maduro to step down or be removed. Others, such as the Chavez-sponsored ALBA, have supported Maduro's election and called on the opposition to accept his accession into the presidency. Maduro responded to the accusations levied against him by denouncing them as U.S. imperialism and compared foreign interference to colonialism. Open Cabildo Juan Guaido, the newly appointed president of the National Assembly of Venezuela, began motions to form a transitional government as soon as he took the National Assembly role on January 5, 2019, whether Maduro began his new term on the 10th or not, the country would not have a legitimately elected president. On behalf of the National Assembly, he became one of the first to denounce Maduro continuing in office, saying that the country had fallen into a de facto dictatorship and had no leader, and that they were in a state of emergency. It was in this statement that he first called for a coup d'etat, calling on soldiers who wear their uniforms with honor to step forward and enforce the constitution, and asking, citizens for confidence, strength and to accompany us on this path. He then announced that he would hold an open cabildo on 11th of January. This was hosted as a rally in the streets of Caracas, and here the National Assembly announced that Guaido was assuming the role of acting president under the Constitution of Venezuela, also announcing plans to remove President Maduro. The open cabildo also had provisions to allow for leaders of other political parties, trade unions, women, and the students of Venezuela to be given a voice. Other parties didn't speak of their divide, but of the failed Bolivarian revolution that must be finally toppled. The students were represented by Rafael Requesens, UCB student president, and Marlon Diaz. Requesens specifically called for unity, for Venezuelans of all political affiliations to work with the international bodies who supported them in order to overthrow Maduro. José Elias Torres, of the Unified Venezuelan Workers Federation, read a manifesto of their beliefs and pledging allegiance to Guaido. Maduro's initial response to the cabildo was to call the opposition a group of little boys, describing Guaido as immature. More threateningly, the Minister for Prison Services, Iris Varela, said that she'd already picked out a cell for Guaido and asked him to be quick naming his cabinet so she could prepare for them, too.